So today, I woke up to this nightmare that you see in the background. Donald Trump is the projected winner of this election, man. And they're saying that Donald Trump's numbers among black people doubled since the last time he ran for office. Doubled. And they're also saying that Kamala Harris didn't do as well in urban areas as one would expect. So this is what we're waking up to. And I have so much to say about this. Um, so this is probably going to be a long video. It may be a long video. The first thing I have to say is this, man. All these black people that voted for this man, they're going to live to regret it when this man implements all these policies that are contrary to the interests of black people, they are going to regret it. All these black men that voted for this man, and I'm sure there's a substantial number of black men that voted for him, and I'm not going to blame black men for this, this election result because we know that black people overwhelmingly voted for uh, Kamala Harris over 70% of black people voted for Kamala Harris. And most black men voted for Kamala Harris. So I'm not blaming black men for this result, but for the ignorant minority of black men, the significant ignorant minority of black men that voted for this man, I'm going to ride you like a donkey. I'm going to ride you until the wheels fall off with every detrimental decision that this clown, this buffoon makes while in the White House, I'm going to ride you till the fucking wheels fall off, man. That's what I'm going to spend my, you know, next four years talking about. You know, just how disastrous this man is to the black community. Every example that's made manifest. I'm going to hold it up in your face and, um, hold you to ridicule and condemnation because you are the one that made this possible. For instance, if he passes, you know, helps pass laws giving these pigs immunity to kill your black ass, I'm going to ride you when he makes these decisions. As he erodes away our civil rights, I'm going to ride you till the wheels fall off. And it's just a shame that you had these grifters on here, these bottom-feeding parasites, these, uh, these cowards, these uh, spineless people that are so craven that they will do damn near anything for white validation. They will do damn near anything for a pat on the head from Mr. Charlie. You people are despicable, man. Uh, so I'm going to ride you till the wheels fall off. And, it, and it's, this is a disaster. And for all those leftists that said, well, let me vote third party. You can thank them for this result right here that you see. You can thank them for that result. Now, when Donald Trump gives Benjamin Netanyahu a pass to, can, to escalate the genocide, to make the situation even more diabolical than it is right now, you can thank these third party leftists, you know, that decided that they're going to throw away their vote and uh, allow this man to be reelected. You know, th they can thank themselves when that genocide escalates, when the death toll climbs even higher than it already is. When this man, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, declares war on Iran and the conflict escalates even further than it is right now. You can thank those leftists, those people that had an absolutist position. And to some degree, I understand where they're coming from, but when you see the consequences of your decision, you can only look at yourself in the mirror and blame yourself for what has happened. Um, because in these pivotal states like Michigan, which seems like it's going to Donald Trump, when you look at a state like Wisconsin, which seems like it's going to Donald Trump, you have to blame yourself for this result. And the fact that this man has won, like at least according to this projection, and I hope and pray that this is some kind of glitch in the matrix and this is wrong, but if it isn't, 
this is a disaster, man. Um, it is a pure disaster. Um, this says so much about this country. It is it epitomizes white privilege and white supremacy. That's what this election epitomizes. Because here you have a man that has been convicted of fraud. Here you have a man who's been convicted of assaulting a woman. And I don't want to use all the language because I don't want to deal with getting banned here on TikTok. But this is a man that's been convicted of this stuff. This is a man who incited a riot, incited a, a uh, insurrection in this country. This is the man. This is the man who's made all kinds of despicable comments about just about every group of people. This is a man that has no class, has no character, has no dignity. You know, this is a man whose favorite word is calling somebody stupid and calling them low IQ. This is the man that you elected over a highly qualified, dignified black woman. Um... And, you know, that alone speaks volumes. You know, people always talk about DEI hires, these racist white supremacists always talk about somebody's a, a DEI hire. Well, it's this is an example of somebody being hired because of their whiteness, because uh, of their, their um, sex. Because this is nothing but sexism and racism. Because how in the hell can you find yourself voting for a man that's been convicted of felonies, voting for a man that has been, you know, just said some of the most uh, despicable things. That tells me that his the qualifications are less important than the identity of the person. Despite all these people condemning identity politics, they have played into identity politics. Now, all those those. I wouldn't be surprised if Donald Trump doesn't pardon all those 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 maniacs that uh, raided the Capitol and stuff. We're looking at a dark period in this American history, man. And, you know, all of those people that voted for this man are responsible for that. You know, all these people convicted of these crimes are probably going to be pardoned. And, you know, white women... I mean, they have to look at themselves in the mirror because here you have a candidate that is a sexist, man. Somebody that has no respect for women. He's made despicable, uh, misogynistic comments about women, but y'all voted for him. Y'all are more to blame than any other group of people for voting for this man. More to blame. And it's, it's, this is just a, a sad day. And again, I hope that this is some kind of mistake, um, but it doesn't look like it, man, because CNN has projected that this buffoon has been elected president. And, um, and they also say, you know, the Senate is dominated by these Republicans now, and it's possible that the House may go in that direction as well. This country is going to be unrecognizable if Donald Trump has his way. So we need to put on our marching shoes and get out there and fight for not only our rights, but our very existence, because that's how dire the situation is.